Hello and welcome back. I was researching for two recent stories when I came across the name of American aviation pioneer Philip Parmalee. My first story I was researching was about the use of seat belts in aircraft. Philip Parmalee had taught Army officer Benjamin Fallow to fly in 1910. During Benjamin's first solo flight, he crashed and was thrown off the aircraft. On his second flight, he was almost thrown out, swore, and set about putting a long leather strap onto the aircraft to hold him into place. That would be sensible. The second story was about parachuting from an aircraft. I learnt that in 1911, Parmalee piloted the Wright Model B aircraft from which Grant Morton made the first ever parachute jump from an aircraft. Morton was aged 54, a veteran of jumping from balloons. Curiosity led me to find out more about Parmalee. Philip Oren Parmalee was born in 1887 in Michigan, USA. From an early age, he had a mechanical aptitude for small engines, building his own electric steam and gasoline powered motors. He built a steam powered small automobile using an old horse buggy body and bicycle wheels with a steam boiler engine. No surprise then that his first job was with the Richmond and Holmes Machine Company in St. John's, Michigan from 1904 to 1906. He then went to work for the Eclipse Motor Company. This employer recommended him to the Buick Automobile Company in Flint, Michigan. He was employed to drive their cars throughout the South and the East on long tours, showing that the Buick was very sturdy. While he was on one of these tours, he visited the Wrights Flying School in Montgomery, Alabama in the winter of 1909, and he was bitten by the flying bug. We all know how that feels. He took flying lessons from Orville Wright at Dayton. When he qualified, he was hired by them as a demonstration pilot and started demonstration flying in September of 1910 at the Appalachian Exposition in the Wright B Flyer. Obviously, he was a good student. On the 7th of November 1910, Palmer Lee became the first pilot to transport commercial cargo, making it also the first commercial flight. His flight was 65 miles or 105 kilometers from Dayton, Ohio, carrying a package of 100 pounds of silk, valued about $900 for the opening of a store. Parmalee's route followed the route of the old National Road, as he had no compass. The flight was officially recorded at 57 minutes, some say 66 minutes, a world speed record at the time. In Texas, in 1911, Parmalee flew the right flyer with Lieutenant Benjamin Fallot, the pair conducting military reconnaissance missions for the U.S. Army. They flew along the border with Mexico. As a show of force to Mexican revolutionaries, they dropped small bombs. That reconnaissance and bomb dropping was a world's first. The airplane was rented from Robert J. Collier, owner of Collier's Weekly. On their second flight, Fallot and Parmalee accidentally shut off the engine. At a low altitude over the Rio Grande, Parmalee got the engine to restart, but it was at full throttle. The sudden thrust caused the plane to nose down into the water and flip over. Neither pilot was injured and the aircraft was salvaged and repaired. Parmalee is also credited with the first use of telegraph from an aircraft. He is also credited with the first search from criminals from the air. I couldn't find substantiation for the claim that his was the first communication from an aircraft. It is known that in April 1915, Captain J.M. Furnival was the first person to hear a voice from the ground from a major prince who said, if you can hear me now, it will be the first time speech has been communicated to an airplane in flight. Parmalee had not heeded the lessons from his or Fallot's crashes when those aircraft weren't fitted with restraints. In 1912, at an air show, his plane was hit by a wind gust and he was thrown to his death. An historic marker to Philip Parmalee, erected in 1978, is displayed at the Lansing Capital Region 
International Airport Terminal in DeWitt, Michigan. Parmalee appeared in an early silent film, A Dash Through the Clouds, directed by Mac Sennett and starring Mabel Normand. In the film, Parmalee plays a pilot called Slim and flies Mabel around in his right B airplane. Parmalee completed this film and it was released three weeks after his death. Thank you for watching.